subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. India's Ministry of Earth Sciences has published for the first time a report on how global heating and the ongoing climate crisis is changing the weather and long-term climate patterns in India for this century. The report is from researchers from the Indian Institute of Tropical Meteorology, IITM Pune, and simply put, the findings are quite terrifying. The gist of the report indicates that the average temperature over the past 100 years has risen by 0.7 degrees Celsius, which might sound a little reasonable, but in the next 8 years will increase by a mind-boggling 4.4 degrees Celsius over India. To put this in perspective, if you're privileged enough to have an air conditioner at home, think about the difference in temperature when the AC is set up or down by just 1 degree. And now imagine the same increase in heat but by over 4 times. To put this more in context, studies have found a huge difference between temperatures rising by just 1.5 degrees and 2 degrees. Just a mere half a degree Celsius difference causes global changes and catastrophes. A half a degree more rise to 2 degrees Celsius would mean that coral reefs would entirely disappear as would the polar ice. And this is just for a projected rise of 2 degrees Celsius globally by the end of the century. India's 4.4 degree rise spells doom in many ways. According to the report, in just the last 30 years, temperatures of the warmest day have risen by 0.6 degrees and the coldest night has risen by 0.4 degrees Celsius. By the end of the century, by the year 2100, the warmest day will be 4.7 degrees hotter and the coldest night would be 5.5 degrees warmer. Sea surface temperatures in the Indian Ocean have risen by 1 degree on an average over the last 60 years, which is higher than the global average of 0.7 degrees Celsius rise. Sea levels in the Indian Ocean rose at a rate of almost 1.75 millimeters each year from the late 1800s, but since 1993, sea levels have been rising at 3.3 millimeters per year. The sea level rise comes from ice melting at the Hindukush Himalayas, which experienced a rise of 1.3 degrees Celsius just in the last 60 years. By the year 2100, the mountain range will experience an increase in temperature of 5.2 degrees Celsius. Additionally, as ice melts, water carries with it sediments which are ultimately deposited through the river into the ocean causing a faster sea rise. The report also outlines the effects that surging temperatures would have on the country and the weather. Summer heat waves, which occur between April and June every year and kill many people each year, are expected to increase in frequency by three to four times. The average duration of heat waves is also expected to almost double. The overall decrease of seasonal summer rainfall in the past 60 years has already led to increased droughts all over the country. And the report states that areas over central India, the southwest coast, the southern peninsula and northeastern India have experienced two droughts per decade on average in the last few decades. Additionally, the geographic areas affected by droughts have also widened and expanded. Rise in temperatures leads to more evaporation and increased precipitation as warm air holds more moisture. This leads to extreme weather events and extreme rainfall. In just the last 60 years, rainfall intensities have exceeded 150 mm per day, a growth of about 75% over central India. Warm conditions are also ideal for cyclones or hurricanes as we saw in detail in a previous video about cyclone formation. The report found that the annual frequency of milder tropical cyclones has reduced in the past 60 years, but the frequency of very severe cyclonic storms, which is a category of extreme cyclones, have increased significantly in the past two decades. The cyclones Sidir, Hudhud, Nilofar, Giri, Felin, Foni, Ampan were all either extremely severe cyclonic storms or super cyclones, the highest categorization of cyclones in the Indian Ocean. Severe cyclones bring severe winds and rains as well, causing even more destruction to not just human life but also infrastructure. 
storm surges shift waves up rivers and this will lead to more intense flooding along rivers as well ITM Pune scientist Roxy Matthew Cole who is not affiliated with the report explains this phenomenon to our science correspondent Mohana Basu in a piece that explains this report it will be linked in the description please do read it additionally rising temperatures also affect human bodies and human societies fights over water resources are expected to increase as drinking water becomes less available as with every crisis the poor and the underprivileged of our societies will be disproportionately affected and will suffer the most heat waves will disproportionately affect construction workers and laborers who toil every day Raghu Murthugade, a professor at IIT Bombay, explains in the same story that the human body copes with heat by sweating. But if the ambient humidity is too high, the body will not be able to lose the excess heat. The climate report also said that the rising temperatures will affect every part of human society and environment. It will increase stress on the country's natural ecosystems, freshwater resources, agricultural outputs, and biodiversity hotspots. Even something like the ongoing locust swarms was directly caused by intense droughts followed by intense floods. There will be rising damage in the country and in the Indian subcontinent and the rest of the world to biodiversity, food security, energy security, water security, the public health sector, industries and of course the existing infrastructure. Because Himalayan waters drain into the Bay of Bengal, regions around Bengal, including Bangladesh, will start seeing large-scale displacement of people living in the coastal regions. People are going to start migrating to cooler temperatures and areas that are safer from flooding. And all of this will, of course, see a huge socio-economic impact in not just India directly, but the climate crisis induced changes in our neighboring countries of Pakistan, Nepal, Myanmar would also have even bigger economic implications for India. Now, unfortunately, all of this is bad news and even more unfortunately, it's only going to get worse. The projected rise is 4.4 degrees over India and the Paris Agreement has an upper limit of 2 degrees. It's important to remember that in the face of a global pandemic, socio-economic tensions across the globe, geopolitical troubles, water wars, border skirmishes and everything else on the list of things going wrong with the world right now, global heating is the biggest one of them all and the ongoing climate crisis will exacerbate and worsen every issue that society and humankind are grappling with today and for the foreseeable future. If you found this macabre report informative and would like to support our science coverage, please consider contributing to the print. The link to do so is at theprint.in slash contribute. Every single bit helps us tremendously. My name is Sandhya Ramesh. Thank you for watching.